Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Gate of Flesh, a Japanese drama from 1964 that was directed by Seijun Suzuki. In the shady black markets and bombed-out hovels of post-World War II Tokyo, a tough band of prostitutes eke out a dog-eat-dog -dog existence, maintaining tenuous relationships and a semblance of order in the world of chaos. But when a renegade ex-soldier stumbles into their midst, lusts and loyalties clash. With Gate of Flesh, Criterion says, This visionary director delivers a whirlwind of social critique and pulp drama shot through with brilliant colors and raw emotions. Now, it may come as a surprise to some of you, but I'm actually not the biggest fan of Seijin Suzuki. I've seen a bunch of his movies, most of which years ago, but he's very, like, hit or miss for me. I find his directing style to be kind of obnoxious at times. He does tend to get on my nerves, to be honest. Actually, I've been meaning to revisit his filmography again just to see if the titles I disliked would improve after repeat viewings, but regardless, I did enjoy some of his films that I chose in my initial exploration, and Gate of Flesh was one of the standouts for me, actually. This is actually a pretty surprisingly good film. There is a line of monologue early on that kind of establishes the film's themes. So I quote, When the war ended, Tokyo became a city of savages. It was kill or be killed in the battle for survival, and the weak lost out, unquote. And there are direct references to the war and Japan's defeat, which looms large over this. I mean, that theme is just omnipresent. Like, right from the start of the film all the way to the frickin' end. The film actually begins with the sound effects of war and some macabre paintings. It's an impactful opening scene that uh, immediately grabs you during the credits. And the characters are similarly intense, but they're pretty interesting, energetic, and entertaining, while at the same time avoiding a descent into annoyance. And that's some of the problems I have with some of his other films. Those problems are not really in this one. The entire premise for Gate of Flesh is actually pretty fascinating. You know, this small group of prostitutes are operating on their own without a pimp at the beginning of the film. And they have certain rules of operations that they they outline to all their new recruits. And they strictly enforce them. Even if you're one of their own, you had better follow the rules. <laughs> and uh, they also have no problems clashing with people outside of their circle. Like, uh, there's one time early on where they knock out a homeless man who breaks into their location. There is some pretty dark character interaction here, including some scenes of, like, beatings and violence. And uh, there is some sexual content as well, given their profession of the characters. Not really explicit, though. And there is one scene of, of uh, cattle slaughter as well, if you're uh, sensitive to that. Um, but it's pretty interesting watching movies like this, I think. It really emphasizes the survival and power aspects of human beings that emerge when like the crap hits the fan and things go bad and humanity's just like pushed back towards a more like natural uncivilized power struggle even like the dynamics within like the prostitute gang changes significantly when a strong like imposing man shows up played by joe shishido who appeared in some of Suzuki's other works, and this is actually one of my favorite performances by him. I think he's really good in this. It's just the whole character interaction and dynamics are like really what drive this, as well as the overall theme and references to you know Japan's defeat in the war. And aesthetically, it's fun to look at. Color schemes and set designs are highlights. I mean, the women are practically color coded. I mean, each of them has like a designated color of clothing that they wear, which is pretty interesting. I also like the showcasing of decrepit, ruined buildings, as well as, like, the sweaty, like, grimy atmosphere of the summer heat. And the streets are always crowded and active. There's just a lot of energy to this film, aesthetically, and it really keeps you engaged. Some interesting stylistic choices, uh, like there's one scene where a girl's walking back and forth in, like, uh, a room, and there's a spotlight on her, which I thought was pretty neat. Pretty interesting. There's some other stuff like that that's incorporated, so... I definitely recommend Gate of Flesh if you're looking for like a, a good high quality like Japanese film from the 60s. 
And during my initial exploration of Suzuki's films, this was one of my personal favorites that I saw from him. And it's currently available on Region 1 DVD. I believe that's a Criterion release. And as always, we will see you next time.